All right, everybody, today we're gonna preg check a few cows and heifers. Preg check some cows and heifers and have the most beautiful cow hand you'll see anywhere here to help me. But basically we're gonna get these girls in. We're gonna do a combination of palpation, rectal palpation, where we reach in there and feel around, talk to you a little more about that as we're doing it, and blood testing um, to see, see who got bred, who will be calving next spring. So let's get after it. All right, so we're gonna palpate pretty much all these girls just rectally reaching in there, feeling their repro track, seeing if we can feel and confirm a pregnancy. If we can, we're good to go. If not, we will double check with a blood test, a bioprin blood test. And if we're not just quite sure, we'll draw blood as well. So I believe we feel a pregnancy there. I feel pretty certain. Um, Go ahead and, and draw some blood from her. Just to double check ourselves. We don't do palpation, or I don't very regularly. Guys that are really skilled and really experienced doing this all the time can call them very definitely, probably just as accurate as the blood test, but we'll double check ourselves. But if you've watched some of our previous videos, we've shown how to bleed from the tail vein, but very easily, um, okay, we'll step around here. And all this would be a little easier if we had a palpation cage, but we don't currently have a setup like that. So we just go right in on midline. There it is. Doesn't always go that easy, but she's being cooperative. All right. You notice we picked a kind of a nasty, drizzly day to do this, but it's also only about 60 degrees, which is a very nice break from the heat we've been experiencing. It's September 23rd. I guess we're officially fall. And I guess I should also point out these cows were with the bull. Um, I think it was like May 17th to like July 21st, and so they all should be a minimum, of course, doing easy math there, two months bred. Uh, this is actually one of our fall. I, we have 32 cows or heifers. Nine have either calved this fall or will calve this fall. So we had. 23 that we're, we're truly checking for spring. This is actually one of the fall calvers that's yet to calve, so she ought to be getting pretty close, but we're just gonna, while we got her in the chute kind of thing, just check her. Reaching in. So yes. Bread. I don't know, she should calve in the next one. Based on breeding dates last winter all right we'll get her out of there and keep moving along the next two are spring calvers ah! Good there, baby. nice good good distribution on most of these girls step on up there baby step on up there step on up there big girl this is actually one, as you can see, has lost her ID tag, so we'll find that hole where that previous one was. Maybe we'll find in there. Yeah, occasionally they lose a tag. You know, either it's not as eating out of hay rings, it'll pull out. You can see it didn't rip her ear or anything. The button may have just come off somehow, but get that put back in there. Alright, so this one palpated. I'm pretty certain she's open. So we'll do the blood test and just a little more on that test. It's it's called a bioprin test. We send it out to a lab. Only costs about three dollars, maybe three fifty a piece, so very cost effective. And it detects a protein that the placenta produces and so um, when it is paused it's a pretty definitive uh, confirmation of pregnancy. We'll detect it as early as 28 days so that's definitely far younger than than I am capable of detecting via palpation. 
Uh, again, these should all be bred at least 60 days. I guess one minor exception being the, the neighbor's bull did jump in a couple of times, so there's a possibility of a couple of them being a little shorter bred than that. But we'll bleed her and find out if I'm right on my palpation. I also like that too because as somebody who doesn't palpate regularly and is not super confident in, in calling those short bred pregnancies, it's a good way for me to double check myself. And if I'm consistently wrong, obviously I don't have a lot more work to do. All right, so we're gonna let the beauty of the operation do a little checking as well. So this, this will be much easier and probably a lot safer too if we had a palpation cage. So that's definitely on our wish list. Along with a, a cover, a roof over this facility so that we don't stand out here in a light drizzle rain again. Oh, now your arms are smaller than mine. Squeeze her down a little bit. There you go. This is a heifer that should be bred. Actually, she should be, uh, based on when I saw the bull with her, she should be our last one to calve this fall. Yeah. Definitely pregnancy? Good deal. Gonna calve around uh, first or second week of December. Sounds about right, Doc. <laughs> All right, so we're getting down to our last few here. Of course, the question is, all right, once we have this information of who's pregnant, who's not, what do we do with it? And you know, that's when we make a decision, are we gonna keep them or not? If, if, if they're not bred, then have a decision to make really, just from a dollars and cents side of things, you should get rid of them. Make sure they be open. Um, we'll bleed her to make sure. But uh, of course the bred ones we will keep. Our herd's still young enough, we don't have any that are you know, starting to age out as far as culling. It's really just coming down to who's been a good mama and who's getting bred back. All right, so that wraps up the, the preg checking, preg testing um, part of things. I think we had, I have to look, there were several that, that we did check open. Of course, we drew blood on them. We'll double check, see how it is. We'll, uh, go to that on the end of this video fast forward a few days and see what those results are now i'm going to get that that blood packaged up sent into the lab hopefully um get results even the end of this week I and mean, if not next week we're not in a huge rush but everything went pretty smooth i think we had one heifer that we wanted to check that uh got by us um not too big of a deal not sure that she's one we were planning on keeping anyway but um anyway so far it went pretty well stay tuned we'll see what the results are all right, so now we're gonna fast forward about a week. I was wrong on our lab testing dates. The, the lab only runs the, the ruminant pregnancy test on Tuesdays, and so we had to wait basically a week to get those results back. And I don't think we mentioned it earlier, so to review what we actually found on palpation was that called seven of them open or not pregnant, not bred, which we only checked 22, so that's roughly a third of them not great. And so I, I was even more concerned that you know, there could even be a couple of more that we had thought were bred and, and, and turned out not to be. Fortunately, we get the results back yesterday, find that only had five open. So of the, of the seven we called open, two of them were actually pregnant. So I was, I was pleased with that. The, the five that are not bred are, at least three of them were not surprises at all. One was kind of already young kind of at the top of the call list so we'll definitely move on from her one was our nurse cow the, the random jersey you see in the herd occasionally that she calved like the middle of june we only had the bulls in for another month so didn't really expect that she had gotten bred back um, there were a couple of heifers in there that had checked open that were probably our biggest disappointment i i hope I would really hoped that they would have been bred, so I don't know, we're going to have to make a decision on them. But anyway, overall, pretty good. Um, everybody that we had, had called bred um, you know, was in, indeed pregnant. Uh, so, pretty happy with those results. The um, I guess another thing I had misspoke on earlier in, in the 
right now, I guess there are multiple different ruminant pregnancy tests. I called it the bioprint test, which was the one that this lab previously ran. Now it is called an alertness test, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, it's actually uh, a test developed by IDEX Labs, which is coincidentally the same lab that we use at our clinic for more small animal purposes. So, but anyway, um, little tidbit of fact there. Anyway, now we're we got a beautiful day today. Sun is shining. You know, kind of as opposed to what we had last Wednesday. We were checking those cows. It's gonna be a little warmer today too. But we're gonna get some hay moved field just here up the road from our house start getting it stacked and staged and ready where it'll be handy to be fed here in a couple of more months but anyway glad you tuned in hope you enjoyed that a little bit of a, a look into different methods we use for pregnancy checking and uh, as always remind you to hit the like button if you like what you're seeing go ahead and subscribe Remember to eat beef.